So in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to install Docker on your Raspberry Pi as well as how to use Docker on your Raspberry Pi. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to remotely log into my Raspberry Pi with SSH tutorials, which is the name, which is the host name, dot local, and then dash L, and then the username for Pi. I'm going to enter my password. So now that I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi, the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to update and upgrade all of the packages. And in order to do that, I am going to do sudo apt git update and and sudo apt git upgrade. And the reason we're doing this is to make sure that we have the latest version of all the packages because you want to be installing the latest version of Docker. As you can see, I have uh, it finished and there was zero, need, zero packages that needed to be upgraded. And it is highly recommended that after you do this, you do a reboot. So sudo reboot and then hit enter. And that is going to close your session. So you're going to have to basically log back into the Raspberry Pi once you reboot it. So now that our Raspberry Pi has been rebooted, we're going to basically log back into it. Enter my password. And we are back into the Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to go ahead and clear this. And now we are actually ready to install the Docker software. So in order to do that, there is a fancy script that Docker has written, and we can download it by using a curl command. And the command we're going to enter is curl dash f, lowercase s, uppercase s, uppercase l, and then the URL, https, colon, git.docker.com. And we're going to output it to a file called git.docker.sh. And that went ahead and downloaded it. So if we do an ls, we can see that we now have git-docker-.sh. And next, we are going to actually run that uh, shell script. And so in order to do that, we're going to enter sudo sh, and then the name of the script, which is git-docker.sh. Now this is going to run, it's gonna take a few minutes, and it's going to install all the packages needed for Docker. All right, now that Docker has installed, we can actually try to now run a Docker command. And one of the most common Docker commands is docker ps, which will basically show us any container that's running. So docker ps. And you can see that this was expected, that we got a permission denied error. And the reason we got that is because we're actually not in the Docker group. So we need to add our user, the pi user, to the Docker group to actually be able to run Docker commands. And in order to do that, we need to use sudo user mod dash a for append and capital G for group and we're going to add it docker and then we're going to add it to the pi user and in order for those changes to take effect again we're going to have to log out so I'm going to go ahead and type exit to log out and that closed our session so now we have to log back in so ssh again and now if I type id dash a we can see that I am now in the Docker group. And so now if I run Docker PS, you can see that it actually executed the command and it will show you that we have no running containers. So if we did have any running containers, it would show them here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just going to test a container. And the container that we're going to test is called hello world. So we're going to use Docker run Hello dash world. It's going to go ahead and reach out to the internet. It's going to download the image and it's actually going to run it. And as you can see, we got this message, hello from Docker. This message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. And if we do a Docker PS dash A, we can actually see that container and we can see that it was created 28 seconds ago when we ran the command and we can see that it exited. So this container will just run and then exit immediately after it prints this statement. 
And you can see that it gives it an arbitrary name, and these are obviously pretty funny, sleepy underscore Jones. It's always random um, unless you decide to give it a name for yourself. So the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is actually use Docker in a way that it's intended to. And what I mean by that is we're going to run a Apache web server uh, Docker container in order to basically start a web, a, uh, web server on our uh, Raspberry Pi. Now, in order to run that container, we're going to go ahead and do another Docker run. And this time, we're going to use docker run-dit. And we're going to give it a name, dash dash name. And I'm going to give it my name, my dash server. And we're going to do dash p for port. We're going to map the port 8080 to port 80 which is the default port for HTTP. And we're going to give it the name of the container that we want to run, which is HTTPD. So now if we run Docker PS again, we can see that our HTTPD server has been started and it has a name of my server. So now we can actually go ahead and navigate to a new web page. So I'm gonna open up Chrome and we're gonna go ahead and do HTTP The host name, which is tutorials, tutorials.local colon 8080. And you can see that we're actually running a web server. And this is the response that it gave. So this is the web page, this is the HTML that it displayed. And if we go ahead and let one last thing, let's go ahead and check the logs on the container. So in order to do that, we can do docker logs my dash server. And as you can see here, you can actually see that it logged that I accessed the website at August 25th, 2021 at this time. So that has been installing and using Docker on your Raspberry Pi. If you liked the video, please drop a like. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.